we need to talk about the hardest part of investing. We can all more or less figure out the so-called macro, the big picture economic situation, including the Federal Reserve, which will feed into the market. We can figure out individual companies. Or if we're willing to do the homework, especially now that we're in the heart of earnings season and all these enterprises are giving us the quarterly updates, we can get that. But there's a third factor nobody talks about, and we're going to change that tonight. We need to talk about on this ultimately sedate day. We're down advance 104 points. This would be dip 0.07%. NASDAQ decline 0.27%. We got to talk about why stocks really move. And that's about time frame. The time it takes for a good story to come to fruition. This is something that bedevils even the professionals to so don't feel left out if you're an amateur or a home gamer. Let's take a recent example. Yesterday, a prominent Wall Street analyst upgraded AMD Advanced Micro Devices shares to the equivalent of a buy rating, buy, 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 buy. saying that it's time to buy AMD as the shares simply don't reflect the greatness of the semiconductor company's future. That call moved the stock up nearly 10% yesterday, a remarkable achievement, given that it was really just entirely from one analyst's suggestion. Today, though, AMD gave back a big chunk of those gains, down more than 2%, but way lower mid-morning. Why? Because another analyst downgraded from buy to hold. Don't buy, don't buy, don't buy, don't buy. In this case, because yesterday's monster run simply doesn't reflect the near-term, not the long-term, but the near-term future, which is unremittingly bad and possibly getting worse. (laughs) Who's right? The bull or the bear? You'd think they can't both be right, wouldn't you? Wrong! They're both absolutely right. And this dichotomy is one of the things that makes it so difficult for people to pick individual stocks, including AMD, which we still own for the travel shops precisely because of this timing issue. All right, the bearish analyst, right as rain, because AMD's business is awful now and shows no sign of improving. But over the long haul, the bullish analyst is going to be right. Because eventually the semiconductor downturn will end. And when business comes roaring back, so will the stock of AMD. The difference between these two calls is simply the time frame. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.